If your computer just doesn't seem to be working correctly and you're out of ideas, try this. Open up Windows Device Manager and look for anything marked with a yellow exclamation point. You'll usually find them under a section called other devices, but what does that mean? And how do you fix it? Well, in modern versions of Windows, the operating system can automatically recognize most of the hardware inside or attached to it. This is possible because each device you connect to your PC has a unique identifier built into it that tells Windows, hey, I'm a Pixel 7, or I'm an RTX 4080, or I'm a USB mouse jiggler designed to make it look like my owner is working. After Windows identifies what the device is, it can install the correct driver, which is a piece of software that helps the device communicate with your computer. Now, some drivers are preloaded into Windows, while others can be downloaded from Windows Update, meaning that you usually don't have to think that much about making sure you have the correct drivers. So then, what's the deal with these exclamation points? Well, occasionally this identification process can go wrong. Windows also doesn't have drivers for absolutely everything, and in some cases, a device can just straight up malfunction, leaving you with a rather cryptic error. The simplest thing to do in these cases is to run a Windows update cycle to see if the system can fetch the driver automatically on the second try. But if that doesn't work, there are still a few other steps you can take. If it's unclear what exactly the problematic device is, say if it's labeled unknown device, you can double click on it, then click the details tab. In the drop-down menu, select hardware IDs, then copy paste the result into a web search. That should help you identify both the manufacturer of the device and the exact part number, which allows you to go to the manufacturer's website, download, and at least attempt to install the current driver for it. In most cases, that should solve your problem. But what if it doesn't? If a missing driver isn't the cause of your error, there are things you can do, and we're gonna tell you right after we thank Pulseway, the ultimate IT management tool. Tired of being chained to a boring desk just to keep an eye on your IT systems? Let Pulseway set you free. Pulseway's remote monitoring and management platform gives you the power to keep your IT infrastructure running smoothly from anywhere at any time. From system monitoring to automation workflows to automatic issue resolution, Pulseway has your back while you're off living your best life. Say goodbye to the hassle of managing your IT infrastructure and hello to freedom and efficiency. Those sound way better. Ready to experience the magic for yourself? Give Pulseway a try today for free and join the IT revolution. Now this is one of those situations where the oldest piece of advice in the book can also be the most helpful. Try taking that problem device, which you've already identified, unplugging it and plugging it back in. You can either quite literally do this, or you can do a bit of a soft unplug and plug in by right clicking the troublesome gadget, selecting uninstall, then rebooting your PC with the device plugged in to see if it gets recognized properly the second time around. Sadly though, this tried and true method isn't foolproof. And if you're still having issues, you might have a setting somewhere that is interfering with your hardware. This is particularly common with USB devices. So what you can do is try going into your power options from the legacy control panel, clicking change plan settings, then change advanced power settings. Under USB settings, set USB selective suspend to disabled and reboot your system once again. This could help the system properly recognize that rogue device. But failing that, updating the firmware of your PC or of the device itself or updating your BIOS might get the error to disappear. If it doesn't, you might still be okay though, because having one of these errors in Device Manager doesn't always indicate a show-stopping problem. There are some programs that can cause unknown devices to pop up. These tend to be programs like virtual machines or VPNs that install, well, virtual hardware. And in some cases, even after you've uninstalled these programs, some of these entries can remain in there, but with the dreaded yellow exclamation point of doom, in which case you can usually just uninstall them from the device manager window without too much drama. If it's not a virtual device, by this point it is possible, nay, probable that you have a device that either is no longer functioning correctly or simply doesn't have available drivers for your operating system. This is particularly common when you move from semi-compatible operating systems, like from Windows 8 to Windows 10, or from Windows 10 to Windows 11. You can sometimes force the previous operating system driver to install, and that can fix it, but in other cases, you might be just plum out of luck and it's time for an upgrade. If that's not the case though, if you have one of these stubborn errors and you just can't get it to go away, but your PC is working normally, there is always the option of leaving it and growing into the type of person who's okay with that. I mean, our imperfections are what make us special, right? Ah!
damn it. Just like this imperfect outro. <laughs> like or dislike, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future video, and don't forget to subscribe.